part of that year. We have two weeks of the coldest weather since 1885, Attic said. Mr. Avery said it was written on Rosetta Stone that when children disobeyed their parents, smoked cigarettes, and made war on each other, the seasons would change. Jim and I were burdened by with the guilt of contributing to the aberrations to nature, thereby causing unhappiness to our, our neighbors. The world is ending, Atticus! Please do something! Don't worry. It's not the end of the world. It's not. Will it keep up? I think, but it's probably going to turn to rain soon. How do you make this little man? I haven't had the slightest idea, but even if I did, I don't think there's enough to make even a snowball. Let's go get Miss Monty Snow. Okay. Can me and Scout Party Snow? Heaven's alive, take it all. There's an old peach basket under the house. Hold off with that. Jim Finch, what are you gonna do with my snow? Why you'll see. Twenty minutes later. Looks fine, Jim. Looks like he don't want to talk to you. It is, ain't it? I didn't know how you were going to do it. But from now on, I'm never going to worry about what's going to become of you, son. We always going to have an idea. Wake up, Scout. Is it morning already? No, it's a little after one. Hurry, hon. What's the matter? Well, Miss Monty's house is on fire. You go, you and Jim, go wait at the Riley's house. You hear me? Yes. I thought I told you and Jim to stay put. Why we did we stay? And whose blanket is that? Blanket? Yes, ma'am. Blanket. That is an hour's. I guess I don't know where it came from. Maybe some days Scout can send him for covering her up. Thank you. Who Riley? You were so busy looking at the fire that you, you didn't even know that he was wrapping it around you. <laughs> Galen, get up at 6.30!